Hey, what's up guys? Sam here with Custom PC Review and uh, today I wanted to do a Q&A session and that's on should I buy the Intel Core i5-2500K shown here or the i7-2600K which is shown here. And this is a question that I get all the time. And uh, anyway, so uh, basically when choosing between these processors, you really have to decide between what kind of things you plan to do with your computer. Now the primary difference between the i7-2600K and the i5-2500K is that the i7-2600K is hyper-threading enabled. And there are a couple other smaller differences, uh, like the i7-2600K is 100 megahertz faster, has a 8 megabyte L3 cache instead of the 6 megabyte L3 that the i5-2500K uh, has, and of course the $100 price difference. Now, uh, since you are planning to purchase K edition processors, as you can see here, uh, you really just kind of already have the ability to overclock uh, both processors and since the i5-2500K can pretty much overclock to where the i7-2600K is and uh, in some instances even overclock higher uh, there's really no point in comparing the speed difference between these two uh, CPUs. Now the extra L3 cache uh, also very small uh, speed gains so at the end of the day it really boils down to the hyper threading on this CPU. So uh, basically for those who don't know what hyper threading is it's actually some pretty old technology. It was first implemented on the Pentium 4 processors. Uh, it was discontinued and then brought back again uh, after a while. And uh, you can really look up the full details on hyperthreading uh, on Wikipedia or something like that. But in basic terms, hyperthreading basically doubles the amount of threads you can do on each core. Now, in layman terms, threads are basically the stuff that is sent to the processor for processing. So it's like the data. And uh, the problem is each core can really only handle like a single thread at a time. So uh, if you imagine like a thread that only requires say half the CPU's resources but is hogging the thread, by using hyper-threading you can kind of utilize the other half theoretically and uh, that'll increase performance. So when you do open Task Manager, you will it will look like you have two cores uh, with hyper-threading but it really doesn't mean that you're doubling the cores. It just means that you're allowing each core to process two threads at a time. And uh, that's known as hyper-threading. Um, so with that out of the way, I mean, what are the benefits of having uh, hyper-threading? Because, you know, i7-2600K is $100 more. And uh, basically that's multi-threaded applications. And uh, these applications tend to be the applications uh, such as video editing, video encoding, photo editing, compression software, things like that. Uh, games, on the other hand, primarily designed for one or two threads, which, uh, you know, if you buy the i5-2500K, there's really no difference at all. So off the top of my head, really, I can only think of uh, a couple games that support more than two threads. Uh, I know one of them is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Um, I'm pretty sure Battlefield 3 does. And uh, there are a couple more, but really that's all I could think about. Uh, well, that, that's all I could really think uh, at this moment. So uh, even then though, um, pretty much both the i5-2500K, i7-2600K um, yields nearly the same uh, performance since you know they both handle the games just fine and uh, most of the bottleneck is actually on the GPU so if you actually do upgrade the GPU a little more uh, you will get more frames per second. Uh, so when actually discussing which processor to buy well, it depends on the applications, like I said a lot earlier. If you use the processor uh, for, let's say, video editing, um, you know, or other multi-thread applications, you know, Photoshop, things like that, and you're a really heavy user, uh, get this processor, the i7-2600K. Uh, you know, for those of you guys who plan to surf YouTube, play games all day, um, you know, maybe some light video editing work, uh, the i5-2500K will perform exactly the same as the i7-2600K uh, except you do pay a hundred dollars less. So uh, I will definitely have a link down in the description box uh, linking you to basically some benchmarks and uh, things like that uh, for you to check out basically to kind of prove what I'm saying here right now. And uh, I hope this answers some questions for you. Um, if it helped you at all, you know, please uh, like, favorite, subscribe. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.